Hello everyone, and now, so, I was watching a video from the YouTube creator, David OZ, and it was a three-hour video about Call of Duty. Just a three-hour video, you know, about every Call of Duty game from the original Call of Duty to Modern Warfare 2019. The, I think this video was made in 20... It, it, it was made before Call of Duty Vanguard came out, so, you know, he didn't talk about uh, Call of Duty Vanguard... However, you know, he, he said a few things in that video that, frankly, I didn't agree with. One, he, he was like, uh, well, mainly he was just like, you know, he, he said, you know, Call of Duty went downhill and all that. And I don't agree with that. I, I feel like I've made it clear, you know, in my Call of Duty videos. I, I don't think Call of Duty's, like, I, I, I feel like Call of Duty hasn't went down in, you know, the quality on on honestly in my opinion and I, I i feel like call of duty is honestly one of those few franchises that it has kept its quality throughout from like the beginning all the way until vanguard like i, I really do think that and i think a big part of that is simply because you know call of duty doesn't hasn't changed it hasn't changed how how you know the gameplay is how uh you know the gunplay is and I, I, I love this. I, I love this so much. You know, this, this is something I, I think I've said many times about Call of Duty. I love that Call of Duty doesn't change what it does. So, you know, he, he said that. And, you know, I, I I personally don't think Call of Duty has, uh you know, dropped in quality and all that. There, I will say, you know, there are games, Call of Duty games that, you know, I don't think are good. You know, I, I can I, I, I can say over and over again how much I dislike If No Warfare. So it's like you know there are all Call of Duty games I don't like. I'm I'm not you know I don't like every Call of Duty game, but you know to say that the quality went down, I, I don't know about that. Like I I recently finished playing through Black Ops Three and that game was fantastic. That game was amazing. I loved it. The story made absolutely zero sense, but I thought it was amazing. So you know you know he said that, but then you know he said something else in the video that. Honestly, it caught my mind. It, you know, he said it, and then it caught my mind, and I honestly remember just sitting there thinking about it for a while. And you know, he, he basically said that you know, Call of Duty is basically, it, you know, it, it basically became a pro-military franchise and all that. And you, you know, I heard that, and then I started thinking, and you know, instantly my first thought was, yeah, it is. Like, it is a pro-military franchise. And honestly, in my opinion, I I am not only totally okay with that, but I actually love it. I actually love the fact that, you know, Call of Duty is this very pro-military franchise, which, in my opinion, it has always been that way. You know, like, you know, just like how, you know, in my opinion, every Call of Duty game has shown, you know, the horrors of war in their own way. I, I will agree, you know, World at War did it best. But, you know, I will say every Call of Duty game has shown that, you know, war is bad. It shows the horrors of war. And that, you know, war is not something that anybody wants. But, you know, I will say, you know, Call of Duty has kind of always been this pro-military kind of game. In my opinion, that, that was one of the things that drew me to Call of Duty was... You know, you know, I I've always been a fan of the military, and you know, I, I've had family in the military. I've always loved them, and you know, I've always loved the military, no matter what branch it is. And you know, one thing I loved about Call of Duty was simply the fact that, you know, you were in the military. You you like you know you were these military soldiers fighting a war. That's that was awesome when you know I first played. Uh, Big Red One, and, you know, even years later, I still love that about Call of Duty, and uh, honestly, you know, that's one of my biggest issues, you know, about Infinite Warfare, I felt like it was getting away from that, you know, I felt like it was, I felt like kind of futuristic Call of Duties were getting away from that a little bit, and, like, I, I don't think that anymore about Black Ops 3 or Advanced Warfare, but, you know, they, well, for Advanced Warfare Black Ops 3, it's still kind of there, you know, still kind of like that, but I, I don't think that way anymore, but, you, you know, I, 
Call of Duty has always been this, you know, pro-military, like, hoorah kind of games. Like, they've always been those kind of games. Hell, you know, you, you got the stories and funny, like, you know, you got the story and memes of, you know, the people who, you know, they play Call of Duty for hours and then they go, you know what, I want to go join the military. And they join the military and they go, oh man, this sucks. There's nothing like Call of Duty. You know, you have those memes for a reason. And, you know, Call of Duty... You know, it makes, like, well, I don't, I don't know about anyone else, but I personally feel like, you know, it makes people like the military. It makes people love the military and all that. Now, I, I think a lot of people think that, you know, being, and th this, I feel like this is kind of going to go into, you know, the more political kind of side and all that. But, you know, I, I feel like many people think that, you know, being pro-military means, you know, you're for war. Which I don't really agree with. I, I don't agree with that. You know, I, I'm very heavy. Like, I'm very heavily pro-military. But, you know, I don't like war. I don't think we should ever go to war. I'm, you know, I'm very anti-war. And now, honestly, in my opinion, you know, being anti-war is probably the most pro-military thing that, honestly, you kind of can't be. Because, you know, you, you don't want... You don't want a war because you don't want to send your soldiers over and your troops over to get killed. And especially recently, like, the wars we've had. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't know why we fought them. Like, e even think about them, it's like, why did we fight them? There was no reason. But, so, you know, being pro-military doesn't really, it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you are pro-war. And, you know, you can be anti-war and like pro-military and the thing is same thing the other way you could be pro-military but then pro-war you could be like well we got this military we gotta go fight somebody to prove our military is better which you know i i don't entirely agree with in all that you know i don't entirely agree with that mindset but you know i'm also like you know i also understand the mindset you know these people they train for months and for years, and, uh, you know, they become soldiers. You know, they want to go out on the battlefield. They want to, uh, you know, get in the fight. I, you know, I hear these stories all the time, and, you know, when I'm listening to Jocko's podcast, you know, soldiers being like, uh, you know, veterans talking about how, you know, they would be, they, they went through boot camp, went, they went through all that, and then, you know, they will be stationed at some boring place and not like, not out there in combat fighting, and they'll go, yo, this is not what I'm trained for. I want to go out, in, in, you know, I, I want to be where the fight is. I want to go to where the war is. But, again, you know, I feel like Call of Duty has always been this pro-military kind of franchise. And, honestly, to act like it isn't, I felt like it's ridiculous. Because, you know, Call of Duty was always that way. Honestly, that, in my opinion, that's kind of what separated it from, you know, Halo. From Battlefield. Because. In my opinion those franchises. And the thing is I love them. You know I, I love the Halo franchise. Battlefield Battlefield 3 was fantastic. And you know I want to get into the other Battlefield games. But. But you know I, I never felt a. You know a pro military. Uh, kind of. Theme. Or like style with those games. Or just the thought that you know. You're just a soldier. In a, a part of a larger army, and you know, you got a mission, and you're gonna go do it, and all that. But yeah, like I, I just heard that from you know watching the dude's video. It, it's it's actually a really good video. Like you know that it, it's actually a really good video that he made talking about the Call of Duty games and all that. And like, you know, there's one part of it that I didn't like, but uh, like other than that, it's a really good video. But, you know, that he, he brought that up and, you know, I started to think about it and I decided, you know what, I wanted to kind of make a video about it and give my opinions on it and all that. So, like, honestly to me, it, had, it was always very clear that Call of Duty was pro-military and I don't see that as a bad thing. I personally really love that. 